Yeah, I almost wonder if I was supposed to bring him over, and I... I hope I didn't mess that up, because, like, that was kind of a quest. And I feel like I, I really messed that up. Maybe it's just a little bit of lore, like, world building. Oh! Got it! Okay, good. Big stick! I got a baseball bat! Oh, it calls it a bat. Yeah, cool. Uh, wait, is that a two-handed weapon? Ooh, hold up. We gotta try something. Uh, this is almost broken, so... Wrong button. Um, actually, it's not broken yet. I don't need any of these countless sticks. Let's drop that. Okay. Uh, in Breath of the Wild, there was a technique called bow spinning. And it was done... Oops, wrong button. <laughs> okay, so that's... still works like that. Uh, it was done by inputting the bow button and the cancel button at the same time while this weapon was above Link's head. So let's, let's try that. It looks like, and I was really consistent at it. I even tried it the other day because, uh, Ryan, uh, he, again, some of you might remember, uh, if not, he's an uh, old friend of mine. We go way back, and at this point, now he's my roommate, uh... He, he was recently playing through Breath of the Wild, attempting to get every Korok seed, for some reason. I don't know why. And... That's the wrong button. Uh, <clears throat> and so he learned a bunch of speedrunning tricks, because he was also trying to get every shrine without getting every Divine Beast. So... He told me that this is not in the game. And it looks like they fixed it. Basically what it was, is you were able to draw your bow and also um, stow your weapon as a result. Um, but still do the spin attack, and what that did was move the, uh, the hurt bo or hitbox of your two-handed weapon to Link's back, uh, which allowed him to get, like, quadra hits. It allowed him to get quadra hits, uh, from his, from his spin attacks, which was amazing with in killing Lynels. Oh, hi! Choose! <laughs> Yeah, no, you're not gonna- you're not gonna do that, sorry. Yeah, you're dead. Got the choo-choo jelly. Can I flurry rush choose? I actually don't know. No, you can't, okay. I just had that thought, I was like, wait, I've never flurry rushed a chew. I don't- it seems very pointless, but... Maybe you can! You can. Survey says, you cannot. Survey says that is stupid, and you should never have thought of that, and you're terrible for think- try- like, trying to do that. And you should really just quit the game. I'm gonna take this two-handed thing. Uh, and what we're gonna do... Oh, this is an axe? Oh. Well, that's neat. I'm not gonna use it on this. So what we want is... Now we need the sails. They've been putting them everywhere in places that make absolutely no sense to use a sail. But now... Korok Frond... Now it makes total sense. Uh, attach. Attach. Uh, rotate. Uh, it's working, kind of. There we go. I have, I have an idea here. I want to think with portals here. Attach. Okay, that rotates. So I don't need... What? Hello? That was weird. And then rotate, rotate. <gasps> Wait, hold up. This is a really stupid idea. I, originally, I was going to put two sails on this thing. But instead, I want to drop this. I want to grab this. Shake it off. Attach it to the middle. Grab this. Move it up. Rotate it. Rotate it. Attach that. I don't see a problem with this. Okay, maybe I can see a slight problem with this. Uh, rotate. No, rotate. Bro. It will work eventually. I feel like I'm playing. There we go. <laughs> that seems fine, right? That's fine. Calm down. There's no. In fact, you know what? Um, let's. Let's do this properly. I 
I see absolutely no problems with this. I call it the SSH. Because if you squint hard enough and maybe take a little bit of LSD, it looks like an H. Actually, kind of looks more like an I. And I also saw these rocks, so I'm gonna pick these up because it's probably a Korok seed. No? What about this one? No? They're just there? There's no reason for them to be there? Hold up. I don't believe that. Nothing? We're good? No? Okay. Alright. Alright, SSH. Your maiden voyage! Yeah! Look at it! Look at it in all of its glory! Get, get on the boat! Look at it! Look at its majesty! Can I climb this? No. Isn't it beautiful? It's very slow. But, it's, it's steadfast. It is the SSH. I'm also very tempted to take off, you know what? We're gonna do it. I don't, uh, we're fine, we're fine. I can steer with this, I have a rudder. That's sweet, I, can, I didn't even think I could do that. Attach this. Oh my word, I have a beautiful vessel. Ah! The SSH will always be remembered for courage is never forgotten. Yes, the SSH will live on in my heart. What are those? What are those? Those are wacky. Okay, that's metal. I thought those were branches. There's no way those are branches. Okay, we are to the point where this kind of resembles Skyloft. Maybe I'm crazy. It's kind of like Skyloft. If you again, if you take a lot of LSD, certainly it's like Skyloft. One thing I like about this is that I didn't like about the the Great Plateau is largely the Great Plateau was kind of empty. It was literally just like, hey, here's some enemies, and like, I don't know, some like, you can walk around. Here, there are less enemies and more just puzzles. This entire area is a puzzle. Okay, I think I can probably skip this. Ah, oh, so you made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. You have gained the power of LSD. Congratulations. Now, all the sails on this island make sense. I'm hoping I'm this this is accurate again. I was I was accurate with the hand. Okay, no. I I guess I could have said sniffing glue and that would have been mm. like kind of more apt to what is happening on this island, but yeah, LSD works too. It allows you to fuse something nearby to your weapon or shield, thereby enhancing it. Why not pick up that sword just ahead, then fuse a nearby object to it? Mm. Use fuse and receive the blessing from this shrine. Or don't, and starve to death. Really... You have as many options as you want. Is there anything behind this shrine? Nothing? That's really weird. Outside of it being a zen garden that is impervious to your movements. Okay, uh, here's my real question. Can we fuse something? Oh, we don't have the Master Sword anymore. Man, that that's, go that's out for a while. He set a sword up ahead. Oh, I'm blind? Don't mind me. Yeah, okay. So, let's equip that. Okay, so I to hold or to change, we just have to hold. Really? Okay. This is going to be hard because again, I've remapped my my control scheme. So, why is B? Why is B? <laughs> that looks ridiculous. Um 
Did I put it away? Oh my word. That looks absolutely silly. Um, that's okay. All right. Wow. Okay, so this, as far as I know, is like one of the primary mechanics of this game. Being able to fuse essentially anything together. Anything that's pick upable. So let's let's go to one of our sticks. And I don't think we have the ability to use it in our inventory yet, but I could like Yeah, I could fuse that to my wooden stick and get that. Or I could fuse it to my shield, which I really want to see. Okay, they're detachable via my inventory. I assume that this does damage. Let's find out. Yeah, that's what I thought. It does damage. And I assume it probably up, uh, not up updates, upgrades my durability somewhat too. Okay, so let's switch over to my boulder hammer. I can already, I can, I can, already predicting the names of these weapons is going to get ridiculous. That's the wrong button. Ah! Well, that confirms it. There are chests in these shrines. Cool. I have like 70 arrows at this point. 62. Ah! All right. So pressing up on the D-pad allows me to attach things. Let's try a zone char charge. What does that do? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. It was just <laughs> wa waste zone I charge button. Got it. Look at these. Fire fruit. A fruit that generates heat when struck. Cooked correctly, its heating properties improve blood flow and stimulate muscles to raise attack po power in high temperatures? That's neat. So it scales off of where you are. Weird. And I assume, yeah, the, the, they're trying to get me to use this. Well, first, let's go grab our zone eye thing. And our arrow. Uh, let's grab also all of this fruit. Okay, so we have an insane amount of this. So now, I mean, this is just a, oh, I see, I see. Now I can change, I wonder, man, this is, this is gonna be the crazy part of the game. Like, you can do so much. I don't know what this does. Like, what does that do? A water arrow? It makes it wet. Who would have thought? This is a fire arrow. As expected, it does that. We can, what does that do? I don't know. We're gonna find out. I assume it creates a, gi a giant gust of wind. Yeah, it's a wind arrow. That's really sick. Uh, what does the acorn do? It shoots an acorn. It, the, the sky is the limit for this. Wood? A soldier construct horn? I, we, we, I don't know what the, any of these do, but they're there. So now, if I take this... If I take out my weapon, that's the wrong button. Um, I, can I just, it doesn't look like I can fuse everything with my weapons. It's just with my arrows. That's gonna be really cool. And I love that because all of those, small key, cool. Uh, all of those different, um, all of those different items in Breath of the Wild that were largely useless. Like, let's, let's be honest. Cooking only goes so far when, again, I say again, but really I'm saying again cross let's plays here. I can fill up my health like 50 times in the final f in the final fight against uh, Calamity Ganon by just eating apples, right? The difficulty of Breath of the Wild was practically non-existent when you can pause time, move over to your food, and eat 500 apples. And largely after that point, you're, you still have an excess of health, so you can... Every, everything you get is largely a waste. But in this game, everything has a use. Well, that's probably not true. Not everything has a use. Obviously, apple arrows don't go that far, but it allows you to use all of those different things that you've gotten throughout throughout your, your playthrough. Like, that does something, right? Clearly. Um, I could I could shoot a steak arrow to, to lure enemies and trap them or um, bait them into something. I can, I could set, I could shoot a bunch of these to spread fire. The the sky is the limit on on what I can do here. I really like that. All right, so what are we doing here? 
Is this an enemy? It is an enemy. Ooh, hello. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. You have three eyes. Oh, you have that. Oh, you fused it. Okay, I thought he was gonna swing it around like a whip. I'm gonna jump up here real quick. Don't shoot me. Weird. Fire fruit. What does lighting this do? Uh, I'm gonna use a stick instead. What? What does that do? Clearly it does something, right? Why would they give that to me? Is it just to teach me? Is it just to teach me that I can do this? And burn him alive? That's what it's teaching me. Uh, I want a long stick on this. Oh, he's dead. Nice. Dead. Captain Construct Horn. Construct One Horn. Five fuse attack power. Now they're introducing this. This wavy double-edged... Uh, I don't need to read that. Rock hammer. Uh, let's get rid of this. Zone eye bow. Construct bow. By a Captain Construct. It's a good bow. Uh, switch bows. Drop this. Grab this. Again, a lot of a lot of quality of life improvements to uh, Tears of the Kingdom. A lot of things that just were a little bit clunky in Breath of the Wild. You have to pause. You have to go over to your bow and drop it. Or, even worse, you have to go over... I mean, you could... You could do this in Breath of the Wild, no problem, but to switch, to drop your wooden stick easily, you have to equip it and throw it, which then uses some of its durability, and you might not want to do that. Maybe you just want a weapon temporarily, or maybe you just want to quickly switch to a weapon and switch back. It, it, it's just a lot of improvements they're making to make this game flow better. Uh, I'm gonna... This. And I, I'm there for it. I'm, I'm absolutely there for it. Uh, just do a cursory, look-see here, looking up at all times. The aesthetic of this game is pretty cool. I, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I like the stone aesthetic. Um, it is a little bit more congruent with the game. With, with Zelda. You have done well to reach this place. I can skip this. <laughs> Another light of blessing. So, these are the spirit orbs of the game. Um, I assume that we're just going to be able to upgrade everything like like in Breath of the Wild. Um, it, I guess if it's a, it, it's one of those things where if it's not broke, don't fix it. Um, I have my own complaints with it, but whatever. Link. I came because there is something I failed to give you. Please take it. LSD? I was wondering where you guys kept this. You got the LSD. It can power Zonai devices. What I have just given you is LSD. It is required to make use of the tools known as Zonai devices. I cannot demonstrate its utility because there are no Zonai devices right here, except for me, but as you can see, I am already high as... <sighs> However, I have associates on the other side of that cave system. They can teach you how to use this. I hope so, too. Or, and if it, if it isn't, I will end your life. Let's do this. Chest. Next to a table, not on it. Arrows, because I don't have enough of them. All right, where are we going here? Um, I already got yellow. I don't have a sailcloth, which kind of stinks. Hey, buddy. I have a secret that I'd like to share with you. I am actually from the Matrix, and you just got red pilled. That's not how the matrix went. Uh, wait, cave system. That way. Let's not get sidetracked. Let's do what I'm supposed to do. Are they? That's cool. I guess they did say that they're there to like protect the area. 
How can I make use of this situation? They're wet, so that's not going to be too great if I set them on fire, but if I wait, then maybe. That would do a lot of damage. Let's wait. Actually, the choose might win. Is that one going to die? Okay, no, no, no. Okay. N that's my that's my cue. Kill you. Run. <coughs> oh! Didn't quite go according to plan, but we're good. We're fine. We're good. We're fine. Uh. Thick stick. Uh, sure, I'll throw this away. I actually don't need that. After I just talked about dropping weapons and using durability, I just throw. I just yeet it off the cliff. Goodbye. Uh oh. Hmm. How do I fuse my weapons? Because I kind of want to fuse it with that. Can I drop that? And then... I can't fuse it, man. <laughs> oh, I can. Ha ha! This guy won't know what hit him. Hey, buddy. Yeah, that's what I thought. Do it again. And then I'm going to switch to... Eh, I kind of want to get these out of my inventory. Ah! Never stood a chance. Oh, well, I... Oh. Ow. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me! Hit me. I didn't want to attack you, but... Sometimes, things happen. Uh, you... Yeah, 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 yeah. That didn't work. Ah, kind of worked. Ow. Come on. Okay, you're dead. Great commentary. Great commentary. Grunts, groans. It's fine. Soon I will be, I will be a Jedi Master and I will be able to handle all fights and not get stressed out about basically this game's futuristic Baka Blitz. Give me your loot in your tooth chest that has a face that didn't load at first. A tree branch with an added grip and excellent balance. So it's fused with... Also, great. I really like that they ha added that menu. Quality of life fix. So it's fused with one of those things I found earlier. The, um... This. The horn. Which I should probably be using. It looks like that that's a pretty, pr uh, pretty plentiful resource. And I should probably be kind of spamming that more often. Um, at, at, especially on arrows. So let's take this. I kind of already have this in form of my Korok thing. That's not what I want. But maybe I drop it? Let, let's let's compare them. Um, actually, here's my question. If I grab, if I equip the hand, or I guess fuse, I guess I want, no, I want the hand. And grab this. Can I detach? I can't detach it. So once they're attached, they're attached. Unless I use fuse. Yeah, no, I can't. So once they're attached, it's kind of set in stone. You never know. Okay, we're good. There are fish in there. I don't really care. Why does this rock look so weird? Oh, I know why. I know why. I know why. I am a genius. I am a genius. Uh, fusion. It's an axe. Now I'm thinking with glue. Uh, before I go up to through the cave, let's grab this stuff. There's probably a Korok up here. Oh, this is my lot in life. There's not! Yay! There's nothing here! That's exactly what I want. 